Right. Exactly. Well, you know, when I was trying to get my book published, uh, vampires were so out. They were so out. They weren't even back in yet that they were so out. Oh, <laughs> oh and yours so didn't even sparkle. The reason. <laughs> yeah. No, this was this was way before Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> and so, you know, she hit it big, um, you know, thankfully for all of us who want our <laughs> vampire novels published. But um, there were vampire fans, but nobody wanted to publish a vampire book. And so... Now that's changed a little bit, but by now I'm like, you know, I'm doing it myself. I'm sick of all this, you know, getting turned in circles and doing all this work for you guys, and then you decide you're not going to take it. So um, um, my story about getting published is that if you want to go simple and cheap and uh, do a lot of the work yourself, go to Create Space. It's excellent. Um, I haven't had any issues with them. And uh, it actually doesn't cost you anything. Um, you can do it for absolutely zero down. Uh, I did pay, there's a like a $35 or $40, um, like an annual fee thing that makes it so that you make more money on your books and you can charge less. Uh, so you set the price, but they have a certain price that they want to make back. And then you, you know, up at a couple dollars or 10, depending on if you want to make loads um but i you know i just upped it a couple of dollars and then that makes it uh, viable for me the um <clears throat> the one thing that costs you usually is that if if you get it all set and the cover is perfect and your pdf is perfect and everything is wonderful and you submit it then you have to order a proof which is just the uh the author cost of a book usually around like five dollars six dollars something like that plus shipping and handling you get it um you get it at your house and you go oh god the cover looks horrible or oh my gosh i spilt this wrong or whatever it is that you <laughs> made wrong you might have to resubmit it so the the cost is in the proofs that you order i had to actually order three uh one of those three was because i changed covers i found this author absolutely awesome author that did the cover behind me and uh Kristen Konyuk Koinok and uh she it was a last minute decision it was like a month and a half ago so <laughs> I shouldn't have done it but it was a last minute decision that I thought was completely awesome so I went for it and that made me order another proof but, but beyond and that, that could have yeah, never happened Huh? If it that could have never happened if you were not the one in control of your product. Exactly, exactly. And being an author myself, I that was the biggest heartbreak I ever heard. Is <laughs> a couple of years ago I went to a con and I was thinking, you know, oh I'm gonna have the greatest um, cover and da 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 da. And I met some people and they were like, oh, what are you talking about? You can't pick your cover. The publisher does it. I'm like, what? The publisher picks the cover? What are you talking about? I have no say in it? Nope, you have no say in it. Very rarely will, will, will traditional publishers allow you to even say yes or no or even pick one. Usually they do that all because their marketing department's involved and they take care of it. They want something on the cover that they think will sell or whatever. But I didn't want the goofy guy in the cape with the moon behind him and the fangs going, I'm sorry, I didn't want that. So With the I was sword like, tilted in just the right direction. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The big medallion <laughs> at his throat, right? So, um, and the Transylvanian castle in the background, you know. <laughs> so I didn't want that, and and I was it was so heartbroken. I was <laughs> that was like a real big blow to me. And uh, as soon as I realized I was doing it myself, I was like, yes, I get to pick the cover. I'm going to pick the coolest cover. Um, and then I couldn't find one. So that's where <laughs> I came. But this is awesome. I found her, like I said, a about a month and a half ago. And she was really on the ball and got me everything I needed right away. So, uh, But, yeah, I could not have done that if I was with a publisher. A publisher would have been like, hell no. First of all, you're not touching the cover. We got it all. And uh, second of all, we're not changing it a couple months beforehand. The other thing is the release date. You would have no control over that. It all goes by their schedule. Whereas I was able to say, I want my release date October 30th. That's tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and you can buy it on Amazon.com. And I'm also having a book party if you guys are in um, 
Northern California in Concord, California. Probably most of you are from across the sea, and that's okay. You could buy it on Amazon.com or at my website, emsbox.com. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, that was a little pitch. <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions, uh, or maybe we didn't answer one well enough for you? Any other questions for any of us? Crickets. <laughs> I love the crickets. In, <laughs> you know, one thing I would throw out there, um, as far as the, and it's good, it's good to dream big. Uh, the one one thing I throw out there is that don't 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 be afraid to start small. I mean, you're going to be starting small, so you know there's no need no reason to be afraid about it anyway. Cause it's still going to happen, and um, you know don't uh, don't worry that you might not end up uh, bigger than you start out and. Uh, don't, uh, don't be afraid to, to, to mess things up in the beginning because everybody does. And that's, you know, that's just, that's just part of the, part of the process. Another one that I was going to suggest, um, if you are not a fiction author, which I am not, but you're thinking, boy, it would be kind of cool to do a book that I came across the other day and listening to a podcast, by the way, uh, something, a little something called Fast Pencil which can basically turn just about anything into a book it looks like and it looks like it has a lot of potential for uh for different types of books which may not be fiction necessarily but uh can start from just about anything and just about whatever you have they can turn it into a book and i believe they do eventually have the option of producing a, a hard copy thereof also uh, many of the same options that you have with some of the other publishers. It does, like you say, it starts out free. If nothing's ever printed, then nothing's ever paid, and so on. But it looks like it might be an interesting and fun tool to fiddle with and possibly produce something you might uh, might end up being rather impressed with. You want to stick that link up in the chat room? Wow. That sounds excellent. Yeah, I never heard of that. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one. Um, also, you'll want to know that Several podcasters, not just one, not just two, not just three, but several podcasters who have been at this for a few years have built big fan bases and have gone to big publishing and hit New York Times best-selling author and have, um, I was on the air with someone last, um, night before last on Blog Talk who hit, um, 247 in techno sci-fi and in trade paperback which is like almost impossible to do and that's because he has built this huge fan base it's possible to go to big publishing after you've done podcasting depends on the publisher yes that's true and 